Hello there friends, it's Terry here. I am so glad that you're here with me today. For today's video, I am sharing this card that I created for a Facebook group hop. This group of talented crafters shares techniques and strategies with a hop every month. For this particular hop, we are sharing a card that we created using alcohol ink with a twist on the colors, year, or flowers of your birthday month. So let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about the alcohol ink marbling. This technique uses alcohol ink with water to create a marbling effect. It's really, really, really simple to do and it creates such an amazing background. There are two types of papers that I like to use. One is Ranger's Yupel paper in white and second is Ranger's Yupel paper in black. I have heard that regular photo paper works just as well. So today I did try some paper out from HP. So that's a nice option to have since the photo paper is a little more affordable than the UPO papers. So for the alcohol ink marbling technique, you would need a container filled with water and some alcohol ink. This technique is quite simple. All that you have to do is squeeze some drops of the alcohol ink into the water filled container. The colors that I'm using are related to my birthday month. I'm born in January and the birthday stone for January is garnet. So I'm using the closest color of alcohol inks that I have in my stash. I don't have many alcohol inks, but I do have a few. And I did, however, add some gold alcohol inks into it as well. So then going in with my Yupo paper, I just lay that on top of the water. And what it's doing here is it's picking up all of the alcohol inks that we laid on top of the water and it's attaching itself to the Yupo paper. Look how cool this looks. For this second example, I'm doing the exact same thing as what I did earlier. But here I'm going in with a little small stick and just swirling the inks around in the water. And then I went in with the HP photo paper and laid that on top of the water. Here you can see the results are pretty similar to the expensive Yupo paper. But the only difference that I found is that the photo paper is a little thinner than a Yupo paper. And here's the third example. I did the exact same thing as what I did earlier, but here I wanted to add a little more interest onto the ink panel. So I added a darker shade of alcohol ink into the water. And I really like how this one turned out. Okay, so for the fourth example, I did change out the water and I'm going in with similar colors, but adding a lighter shade in. I wanted to add a little bit of brightness onto the card panel. To create a little movement in the water, I went in with my stick. I'm using a little toothpick here, but you could use anything that you have on hand. And I'm just going in and swirling that in the water. Now going in with my HP photo paper, I laid that on top of the water and grabbed it up to see the final result. Okay, so here's a look at all of the ones that I created so far. I really like this one here, and this one was created using the HP photo paper. So you can see that you can't really tell the difference in paper. The only difference is the thickness. Okay, so now that that part is complete, I wanted to add a sentiment. So here I'm using a sentiment from Simon Says Stamp, and I die cut that out of white cardstock a few times. This one here with the red splotch, it's actually a scrap piece of paper. I don't really like to waste my paper, so I cut my die cuts out of the scrap paper and hide it behind a sentiment that's cut out of clean white paper. No one can tell the difference, and you're utilizing all of your scraps. I really like layering my die cuts because it creates a lot of dimension onto my card. Look how nice and thick this is. You don't have to deal with the foam strips behind this intricate die. And here, and here you can see my daughter. She's the perfect little helper in the craft room. So using some rectangle dies that I have in my stash, I went ahead and cut down the alcohol ink background. I then also cut the same size rectangles out of scrap paper, and I adhered that onto the alcohol background. I'm doing this because I wanted a little more foundation on a card front. Since I used the HP photo paper on this one, it was a little thin. So I found a solution. Just adding scrap pieces of cardstock on the back of it would help to create a little more structure. 
So now it's time to assemble everything together. So I did cut out white cardstock to 4 inches by 5 inches. And I lined that against a black matting rectangle. The matting rectangle I just cut a little bit larger than my white panel. Then going in with liquid glue, I adhered all of the alcohol inked rectangles onto the white panel. I then went in and used liquid adhesive and applied the beautiful sentiment on top of the card panel. I also added a black sentiment strip onto the card panel as well. I later went in and adhered that to a side folding card base. And also added a few gold baubles here and there. And there you have it, the card is now complete. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And if you look in the description bar down below, you will see the next person in line for this hop. So please go and check them out. Until next time, have a beautiful day. Bye bye. Yeah.